NetBeans comes with great project support. So as I started with NetBeans around the version 5, um, there was a great support for um, Ant available back then and usually created Ant projects uh, with NetBeans. And um, it was, I think, Java 5 back then. And it worked well. Um, however, the Ant scripts were well documented, but somehow complicated. So if you look at this, it came with everything. It was standard uh, Ant built, but um, um, I used this approach for smaller projects or prototyping. And for more serious project, I usually used my own Ant builds and uh, built XML files, which could be easily open with NetBeans as well. So you could either, either use the internal Ant build or an external one. And um, yeah, with the advent of Maven 3, um, NetBeans also supported Maven 2, but Maven 3 was a lot faster than uh, Maven, Maven 2. So this is why I really like it. So um, you can just create a straight a Maven project from, from NetBeans. So I just go here and say standard. And it will create uh, the standard um, Java 7 Maven project with the standard archetype. Um, so it fetches the definition from, from uh, Sona type. And you can actually always see what NetBeans does. No magic here. It uses just a uh, command line um, 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 mode to create the archetype, archetype generate. And it created one. This is a standard Java 7 archetype. A standard means a little bit bloated. This is why you can equally well execute your own archetypes, what I actually also did. So if I go here and say project from archetype, it could be your own uh, sonar type or um, your own Nexus or Artifactory. So I go here and say, uh, I would like to create my own com hex archetype, the simple one, and create this. So now I have uh, a project which is created from my own archetype, will still work with NetBeans. What I could also do, I could just create the archetype from command line and open in NetBeans, no problem also. Um, it takes a while because it's to fetch over internet the whole definitions, but this one is significantly simpler, so it's just uh, nothing behind, you know. And I can build this, clean and build, it just executes the standard build, and there's actually only one build. So NetBeans uses the Maven build, period. There is no internal Maven's build, and the actual Maven build is just one build. So if it fails, everything fails. And um, so I can use this build, um, or I can use an... I can, even use um, see behind the scenes what happens. So there is an action step. So I can see at build, it just invokes install and then clean and build can install. Or I could even create my own actions called uh, test integration and say this is a face safe integration test, for instance. So and now I created my own action, which is which can be executed uh, straight from the uh, from the um, from the menu, if I execute this, it will perform usual integration tests. So it's a um, really straight uh, integration with Maven. So um, something newer, this is not really new, this is one year, year old, uh, one year old is HTML5 support. So I can equally well create an HTML5 application. And uh, what I really appreciate is the editing support, JavaScript support and CSS with tools like less SAS and uh, Grunt support. And I can run just the application, and uh, it is well integrated as a browser. I can choose the browser, and I can even debug this. I can say, hey, um, I would like to inspect you. And you can see it is a two-way. If I uh, select it here, it selects in browsers two-way integration. But this is not that interesting for me, because you, what, what usually happens, or um, I, can, I can do the same having uh, the HTML file in a war project. So if I run the project right now, it will ask me to which application server to deploy the project. I can say, hey, use Glassfish, but um, it works with Tommy. So I'm uh, using Tommy right now in one project and Whitefly as well and WebLogic. So uh, you just have to, you only have to add the servers and um, it will um, see it, it deployed the application and I get the same support uh, for, uh, for, a, for, a, for a Maven project. So um, enjoy NetBeans. Thank you for watching and see you at Airhex um, projects, conferences, um, Java 1, DevOps or whatever. Um, um, and enjoy Java.